Welcome to everyone. Today I will show you a simple use of the nesting panel functionality available in TPA CAD. In the test nestant folder, we recorded three programs. A TCN program with holes series. B TCN program a kitchen door. D TCN program a L shaped profile. L. We now have the feature nesting programs. A nesting project is created automatically, with assignments that are read by a prototype. A sheet type of 4200, 2280, mm, available in 10 pieces. Customizations of the project, assign an order name and nesting unit measurement, margins on sheets, nesting development options. I now insert the programs from the test nesting folder. Each program is added to the list with its original size. For each one assigned 25 pieces available. And I select the 0 90 degrees box, enabling the rotation of 90 degrees every single placement. I now require nesting to run. The result is three sheets, listed on the left of the video. The first sheet panel, is opened automatically. You see all the pieces placed, with the workings of each original program. I want to represent squares synthetically with colored boxes, a full rectangle with color corresponding to the rows of individual programs. Individual program identifiers are also displayed. Number 1 corresponds to the first row of the table, and has associated the green color. Number 3 corresponds to the third row of the table, and has associated the yellow color. By turning off the box representation, you can see the cutting profiles of the sheet. The lines represented in red correspond to the cut of the pieces. You can calculate a single optimized cutting profile. As in our example, or so many separate profiles, one for each placement. Open the node of the first sheet, indicates 35 placements. I require the display of the progressive number of placements, progressive numbers from 1 to 35 are now displayed on the video at each placement. I save the results and the labels that match placements. The window indicates whether three TCN programs will be saved, with progressive names, as shown in the window. At closing the command I can request to save directly the file to run the three resulting panels. Now you can see the labels recorded for each placement. For example, open the first sheet and click on the number 5. The corresponding label returns the placement number next to the progressive sheets, and the rotated image of the sheet with all placements and highlighted the current one. Indicate this useful for manual label placement. I redefine the representation with colored boxes and click on placement number 20. Subsequently on placement number 35, the placement of each placement between the sheet representation and the image on the label is evident. I now require the production of the nesting report. The report contains in detail all the project information and results. From the window you can print the report or produce a PDF. Let's briefly scroll through the three sheets that make up the solution. It is clear that the last one is used only in small part, with the amount of placements that have been requested. The linear line of green color corresponds to a cut of the scrap. We close the nesting feature by saving or not the original project. 
We now open the navigation on the TCN programs and see the three files that were created. All have the features of the original nesting nest sheets. Let's open the first one and go in the face. We see the workings of the original programs. The program lines corresponding to the labels to be placed, either automatically or manually, and the cutout profiles of placements. I hope this video has been helpful to you. I invite you to search within our YouTube channel or on our Facebook page where you can find other video tutorials from TPA CAD, or other applications.